That right there is American six cylinder muscle. <laughs> you guys are just jumping in. Um, first episode, I got that Mustang running awesome. And uh, second episode, Shannon and I, we got the brake lines connected, got the fuel lines connected, got a lot of electrical stuff done, temporarily set up a fan, started the car back up, and it sounded horrible. Uh, it wasn't ticking or knocking or anything, but it sounded bad. I, I thought at first it was like a stuck valve or, or a bent valve or something like that. And as I started uh, tweaking the carburetor, it started smoothing itself out. So I'm starting to think maybe it's a fuel system or a fuel issue now. I know that the uh, fuel filter looked real bad, so we're going to pull that off. I'm going to take the carburetor off. I already took the valve cover off, and I'll show you guys. It made sure everything was moving freely, even ran it with the valve cover off. Still sound normal, but man, everything was working properly. Um, I checked the gapping in the valves, all of that was good. So I'm not sure what's going on. So tonight I'm gonna take apart the carburetor. I don't have a rebuild kit on me, but I'm just gonna take it apart, clean everything up, put it back together. I got new gaskets. I'm also uh, putting a uh, different thermostat on the car. And I'm even going to connect a temperature gauge to make sure we're not overheating. I'm a little concerned about that as well. So I'm going to go through all those things and hopefully I can get this thing running good again so I can get back to this restoration. So that's my problem. That's my plan and let's get to it. All right. So like I said, I, I still have to connect all this. I already took all this off and uh, everything looked good. Um, I might as well take it off now just to show you but I mean everything looked good it was running good all the so it, it's definitely not in the valves I'm hoping it's it's a fuel issue carburetor issue. so I've kind of got some things torn apart already and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the fuel filter and reconnect the fuel line and then let's let's take this carburetor off valve cover back on before we take everything apart so that way nothing gets inside the motor Uh, you can just do them tight by since I've got to go through it all. They can just be tight by here. Once it's all put, I just it's still I'm doing it for safety. Like I just said, I don't want anything going inside the engine. You want to take your watch off while we're doing that? I will. Okay. Allie was just texting. Is she on the way home? No, she's gonna stay there. She works till four tomorrow, I believe. And then, um, I think she said Brendan's going to come over for us. I thought she worked until... Are you taking the carburetor off? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have a feeling, watch me get these bolts almost out and they not have enough clearance to come all the way off. <laughs> I called it. I guess the if I think they're out. I think when we lift it up, if okay. obviously I think they're out enough for that. Now this one. Rubs. It's just two, right? I think it's only two, yeah. Did it just lift up? Give it a shot. Oh yeah. Okay.
I'm getting old that hurts. <laughs> oh, let's see what we're working like with. There's no gasket on it. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh. All right. Let's get this thing cleaned up. I laugh at this, but it just hit me. I went ahead and uh, cleaned the floats out. I went ahead and I took the air fuel mixture screws out, um, cleaned all the passages out, cleaned that up, cleaned everything out. And one of the things I was realizing, and I know this looks stupid, but um, after we got done that night and turned the car off, I the line here was was leaking real bad and busted. So I went up to the parts store and picked up this um, fuel cock and the hole for it is really large. It was the only one that they had that would fit inside this original screw. I'm also wondering if that's why it was running better because it was getting too much fuel. So when I was choking it out, basically it, it would, it would run better. So I went ahead and made this little half ass reducer. I can always, Shannon, I can always order the right line on, you know the right fuel line online but to reduce this fuel inlet that's coming into here to see if this works because i can only reduce it so much with the air fuel mixture screw and with the um idle adjustment so it's all cleaned up i know it doesn't look like much but it's all cleaned out with the best that i can and i'm going to reduce this and put a line all the way around it we're going to see if that is one of the issues here our fuel filter baby where's that old fuel filter I had it. Um, you walked over there. I went somewhere. Oh, here it is. The old fuel filter is in, you know, really bad shape. So we're just gonna we're gonna pull that off too and see if that was part of the issue, and then go from there. So, fuel filter, um, carbs cleaned out, and Shannon now is working on the she's got the gaskets cleaned up what are you working on oh you're working on putting in the new fuel filter what filter are you using you got it with you oh, shoot. oh never mind i got it oh, there we go don't don't ruin your stuff it's already got stains on it all right so we're going with that and uh we will go from there so you want me to cut this line shorter Is that yeah oh definitely yeah definitely cut that down Let's see how you're looking over here. Did you get that fuel line on yet? <laughs> it's feeling somebody watching me. I guess we have to be careful what music goes in here. No, I, I can edit the music out. You're good to go. <laughs> Alright, I won't videotape from over here anymore. I guess it's a little weird. <laughs> Nobody sees the shop, man. So I was like, maybe I should post the shop pictures a little bit. I need to clean the shop. but. The picnic tables because of all of our motor builds for the choppers we're doing. Always gotta make sure that you get the uh, place where you unscrew them. And screw them is easily accessible. There's nothing worse than having to like go from the opposite side trying to get it together. I can't wait to get the hood on the car so we stop having the blanket. Yeah. It's a little dirty. Well, I'm set to be picking up my... Is that too much? Is that too much? It's up against the steering box. Like if I plug it in and don't cut any more off, it kind of moves it. You want to come look at it? Let yeah, let me see. take a look at it. No, that's then fine. It makes me nervous that if I... I don't want to cut too, too much off of here. No, the that doesn't move. So it's okay to have it... Yeah, okay. you're good okay. with that. I'll put it up. <laughs> okay. Oh, was that your wedding ring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna suck. What, the screws? Yeah, because I'm gonna have to get them started while I hold it up. Uh, we're going to replace the thermostat just because I don't think it's ever been replaced and I just want to be safe. <gasps> Made a little mess. <laughs> don't mess up my floor now, girl. Mm. It's going into a bucket. Alright, if I just... We're going to use the pliers. We've got to prop it up. There we go. Then that won't come out of there. It's just, the tube can sit like this. Well, the only thing is, is I have to bring the tube down because it's got to drain out of the tube to get that off. Right? I, yeah, and I think those bolts are half inch. So let's take that yeah, off. Yeah, but I'm just gonna, okay. start it up one more time just like in our last video the second time we saw is when everything went to hell so we're gonna make sure that everything's running right and then what we're gonna do is is if it runs good we're gonna go ahead and fix all the vacuum lines this will be for next week we're gonna fix all the vacuum lines and Shannon's gonna put in the gauges so we can make sure our water pump we'll make sure it's cooling properly everything's working properly and we can go on a test ride. So that, that's our plan, but we wanna make sure this thing starts again and is running properly. But it, it was the carburetor, so that's awesome news. And it seems to be working good right now, so let's do we it We need again. to get the speedometer cable before I put the gauges in. Right, but this is next next weekend. Next weekend. Cause I had to cut it <laughs> to get the gauges out. All right, so let's make sure it works. I'm not gonna pop it. Just, just start it up.
Turn your headlights on so you can see. <laughs> Okay, the vacuum's not hooked up with the tranny. There you go. You're low on fluid. Woo! That there's a race car. Two things. One, your vacuum's not hooked up to the transmission, and two, you're low on fluid. I guarantee it's the vacuum, because that's part of the shift mechanism. Go ahead, disconnect your battery. This always makes me nervous. <laughs> hey, she moved on her own. Yay! It'll be a little crooked. Hey! That's okay. You're always a little crooked. What? What? All right. That's so cool. I'm so excited. All right, good. Let's get it cleaned up. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? I guarantee it was one of them damn rats. Damn rats. Trying to drive our Mustang. All right, that's good. Time to get our spot cleaned up.